Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Jose Miguel. I'm seeing your background. It's interesting. Batman. Already <laughs> 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 the bad case. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, calling, right. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm working in the homework. <laughs> okay, which one are you in? I can solve the uh, the last uh, with I had trouble, but was a point at the end of the sentence that was the problem. Oh, okay. Well, great, <laughs> great. Mm, so, uh, what number of homework is it? The the second homework. The second. So, so one point five. One point three. No, sorry, is is other is the. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. I, sure. I want to. Read. Mm -hmm. uh, I want the first one, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. no, no. The first one is one point nine. No, one point five. The the third. Mm, In okay. The, in the second sentence, I I forget forget the the point at the end of the sentence. And oh. that was the trouble. Okay, so that's the period. Period is ah, not a point; period, it's period, a period. period. Okay. Uh huh. So yeah, one point five. One point five. And yes. actually, I'm working the mm -hmm. uh, two point two. 2.2, 2. okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. Did you have any trouble doing it? With the question number five, what are the four pieces? Uh -huh. <laughs> Entiendo la pregunta, uh -huh. pero no, 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 no. Okay. No, no sé cómo describirlo. Just, just, uh, just each a uh, word for each p. Okay. Just one oh. second. Uh -huh. It's just one uh -huh. word for each p. So, or uh, allow me to see because maybe it's. Uh -huh. On the on the right there, the four piece. What number did you say? The question number five. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's only a the four words, okay, that start with letter P in the marketing mix. Mm -hmm. But actually I put product, price, place, and promotion. Uh-huh. But Maybe you didn't separate them with a comma? Yeah. Did Without, you? Yeah, with comma. With a comma? Actually, All right. Actually, Allow uh, me to see. Brothers, uh, wait, uh, let me show you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, please. Where is it? Uh, sometimes it's that uh, you have to start with capital initial. Product. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Place and product. And promotion. Promotion, sorry. Mm -hmm. so for us, it's product. It's okay. Right. And the period at the end. Always. Okay, after place, can you add a comma? Maybe? No. Nope. Place and No, no. In 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 English, even if you have and, you have to add a comma. So, place, ah. comma and promotion. Let's see if that is a problem. That's a new problem. Maybe. No. Nope. Doesn't either. Product, right, place and promotion. 
I'm trying to, to check if so maybe each word doesn't have to take a capital letter, only the first one. Only the first one. Okay. Try. Mm -hmm. Uh, please um, refresh the refresh the um, the form. So um, F five, yeah, know. over there. Mm -hmm, thank you. Okay, let's let's try it over. Mm -hmm. uh, At the beginning with the capital letter. Okay. So let's try. Maybe. Not yet. Oh, God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just give me one other moment. Yo no le veo ningún espacio. I don't see any extra space. I don't see any. Nope. Mm. Let me go with, without the period in this. No. Has anybody have? I'm sorry. Has has anybody had this same problem with this num? I mean, with this number five question. Have you tried? Class. I really don't know what is going on with your aim. Um, if you don't uh, write end, just don't write M. Here. Uh-huh. The, the comma? No, no. Comma without end. Okay. Try, maybe. Okay, the end was the problem. That's well, <laughs> yeah, I haven't tried it before, so I thought it was <laughs> end. Okay, yeah, because it okay. refers only to the four people. All right, thank, thank God. There, we got it. Okay, people, please mm -hmm. take that in consideration when you are going to solve the homework. Remember, uh, don't add the word end. All right, everybody agrees now? Okay, people, we're going to start the class by doing our feedback. Um, What were we studying yesterday? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. What was the topic yesterday? Marketing. Yes, marketing. Exactly, marketing. Mm -hmm. And what did we explain yesterday? Were we studying something about strategies? Do you remember the strategies that we analyzed? Do you remember the vocabulary? Huh? Okay, I will ask, what is the marketing mix? What is the marketing mix? Do you remember that concept from the conversation? It's like uh, put the product in the in a look uh, good position. 
Okay. Give the price. Give the good price of the product. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. There are four, four, four steps. Okay. Uh -huh. Four elements. Four elements. Uh -huh. What were those four elements? What are they? Which ones are they? For P, uh, product, price, uh, place, and promotion. Very good. Very good. And when we refer to the product, we refer to features, needs, characteristics of the product, the packaging, the design, etc. Okay. When we talk about the price, we talk about money and revenues, right? Making profits for the company. That's the main objective when we uh, run a pricing strategy. Today, we are going to study just a little bit about the product and pricing strategy. But yesterday, we were analyzing some, um, some common products in El Salvador, right? You remember when I asked you to think about coffee, uh, we thought about water, and then you gave me some brand names. Also, you told me your preferences. For example, uh, you are going to think in a brand of coffee depending on your habits, right? Or your preferences, preferences, or your likes or dislikes, right? Some people maybe need the coffee already made, right? Just ready to drink. But other people maybe buy the coffee for consuming at home and preparing the beverage themselves. So it's different, the presentation of that product that they need. And they think about a different uh, brand uh, because you are not thinking about a restaurant or a cafeteria or maybe a coffee shop. You are thinking about a product, right? A product that you take home from the supermarket, from the market, or maybe from any distributor or a um, specific distributor. So it's really important for us to know or to be aware about the preferences of customers. This is what we were talking about yesterday the preferences of customers and the mix that every company has to do when they offer a product. Uh, it's not just the product, okay? We need a business plan. We need a business plan that involves every analysis with different strategies, right? Financial strategies, economical strategies, uh, human resources or the team uh, workforce strategies, okay? You contract people with the expertise in the field or you have to make a business plan because you have to achieve the goals of the company. And what's the main point? To make profits, okay? To make profits. You are not going to start a business for losing money that's not logic okay that's not logic and um there are some companies that work on the basis the basis of how the market behaves okay maybe they produce something but they change from field to field according uh the behavior of the market remember Target your market, target your market. You have to segment the people who you are selling to, okay? Remember that, it's really important. So now we are going to continue uh, giving some clues about what we studied yesterday, but we are going to add or to see common strategies of pricing. Uh, it's not only to put a price of a product or to offer a product for a price. You have to add value to the product, okay? And sometimes we make the differences or we differentiate the products 
according to the price because we relate um, the price with the quality, right? We, we are always making this mix. We think that if you buy something that it is expensive, okay, then you think it's going to be of good quality, okay? But if you buy something cheap, then you will say, well, it's going to last until it lasts, okay? And you are going to be, um, I mean, um, you don't want to ask anything else from the product because you know that you paid less. What about if you buy a product with a discount? Oh, so the, those are pricing strategies that we may implement in our companies as a manner of making profits, right? as a manner of making profits, because we make this mix according to the needs of our market, but also our company needs. Remember the product life cycle? If my product is declining because it has a lot of competitors, I have to fight, right? And I have to start, maybe I'm going to be involved in a price war, okay? So we have to be aware of it. This is an introduction and as a manner of discussion, well, just remembering the vocabulary. And when we think about concepts, it's important that we can that we um, can express what exactly they mean, ordering the words, okay? Remember subject, verb, and complement. So let's go and um, see this. Today, our topic will be pricing strategy, okay? And today we have just a class of conversation, okay? This is a conversational class. You are going to put all the elements uh, to understand about pricing strategy. So I prepared some questions that you are going to discuss in groups, okay? to have a conversation, giving opinions, and also analyzing some uh, strategies that you may know, that you have seen maybe in the supermarket, maybe in the market, or maybe or maybe on TV, or on TV, or maybe you have heard about a price war in El Salvador, so you may give an opinion about that. So we're going to talk about the pricing strategy. Pricing strategy. Remember the pricing is related with the product. Pricing is related with the product that I offer. And the product is related with the value that people add to the product or the company adds to the product. So we need to see this uh, from all the point of view. It's not just the price. It's not just the amount of money. It's about how to make profits with the product that I offer, okay? With the value that this product has for my uh, target market, okay? The objective is that you uh, exchange written and oral language related to marketing, okay? Related to marketing. And related to marketing means, in this case, talking about the prices, the product, the place where we sell the products, and also the way that we make people know about our products. So our agenda is easy today. We have uh, just as a manner of feedback, a, a conversation about the marketing needs, and also a short conversation in the manual, okay? About uh, this pricing strategy using a structure, a special, a special structure in English, uh, grammar English. So, um, I'm sorry, English grammar. So the teams that you are going to um, be in, you will have a conversation 
according some questions, but we are going to do a dynamic first, okay? We're gonna do a kind of dynamic first. Then we are going to see some vocabulary and language assessment, just as a manner of uh, refresh or uh, to make clear the terms we are using related to marketing, pricing, product, place, promotion, etc. Marketing mix, marketing strategies, business plan, marketing plans. All right. So the homework assignment. This is really important. I haven't uh, said more than do your homework, but now or today, we need, I mean, you need to submit your homework up to uh, the, uh, the last homework for unit two, okay? We need to submit that. Uh, and this is because of auditory reasons. We need to update our platforms, okay? And we need to maintain and keep these up to date, all right? And uh, let's start by doing this much. Let's start by doing this much. We have the four P's right here, price, product, place, and promotion. We have four questions right here. And you're going to decide which one goes with which one or what these questions are about, okay? You have to relate this, okay? So let's read question number one. Question number one. What does your product do? Exactly, number two. How will you advertise the product? Advertise the product. The product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number where three. Will, where will you sell your product? Very good. And number four. How much, How much does your product? product cost? Okay. Please, everybody, come to the board, please and do the match, you're going to match the number one with what element is related, okay? What is, what information it is asking for, okay? You do the match, everybody. Great, thank you very much. A ver, todos, todos entremos aunque parezca tripachuca ahí. Yeah. Hello, José Miguel. Yeah, happy face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ¿Sí recuerdan cómo entrar a la pantalla, jóvenes? No, I don't know. How, how can I do? Are you from a computer or are you from computer, a cell phone? Computer, okay, computer. go ahead and go to the top of your screen. And where ah. you see the green and red, then it's going to display a menu. It says annotate with a pencil icon. Ah, with I see. A pencil. Okay, go oh. uh, click on it and it's going to display another menu, a sub menu. So take, yeah. draw and go and do it. Ah, I see. Ah, it's very easy. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, Mr. Wilbur. <laughs> yes, you did it. Uh huh.
Okay, then what does your product do? What information do you think it's going to be appropriate to answer this question? Let's answer this question with one sentence, okay? With one sentence. For example, I could say, um, let's say the coffee maker 2000, uh, I'm sorry, 200, oh, 2.0. Yeah, it sounds better. Um, the coffee maker is the, newest in the market okay it makes um let's say what's the name of these mixes mm, let's say mm, mm, exotic <laughs> exotic healthy uh, mixes okay so what does your product do? You have to describe your product. You have to describe the features. You can program it, you can, whatever you wanna say about the, the, uh, the product that you sell, then you are going to describe it right there. The concepts, okay? Now, how will you advertise the product? How will you advertise the product? Written press, written press, for example. Yeah. Maybe a, it could say posters. Yeah, TV spots. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. And there we are going to say all the media we are using. For example, I can offer this product through the through a spot and trader on facebook or maybe on the um, this thing of the facebook what, what's the name marketplace right so we are going to advertise the product in the ways that we want to, okay where will you sell the product where will you sell the product it depends also remember and it's really important it's, it depends on your target market, okay? Where will you sell your product? Well, Omnisport, right, Hosman? Uh, maybe we are going to sell these La Curaçao, on, in La Curaçao, okay? Yeah. Or maybe in Siman, yeah? If it is uh, more exclusive, okay, then if it's a high price item, it depends on that. Where am I going to offer this, right? Where I'm offering. And how much does, does your product cost? This is really important. This is really important. How much does your product cost? Mm, can you pay it with Bitcoins, right? Or do you accept checks? Do you accept credit? credit cards, okay? It depends on the distributor if I am the producer. If I am the producer, maybe I'm going to negotiate in a different way, obviously. But if I'm thinking about the retail or, I mean, the retail sales, okay, then we have to think about it. We have to think about all the strategies we are going to take. Am I going to offer something a, as a promotional item with the coffee maker? Uh, is it going to take my logo in what way it's going to be shown, right? With a little flake, metal flake, or just painted, or maybe it's going to be like serigrafia, right? We are going to think what way we're going to design this and so on, okay, and so on. So, a ver, ahora que yo, yo hablé, okay, ya yo hablé bastante acerca de esto, ahora ustedes me explican a mí, okay? Ahora ustedes explican lo que yo acabo de decir. Y voy a borrar esto. I will erase all of this. You explain everything very good, teacher. No. 
<laughs> we are not necessary. <laughs> of course you are, because this is your class. So you need to imitate your teacher. So please go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, vamos a hacer una cosa. We're going to do something. Vamos a usar una eh, ruleta, ¿sí? Vamos a usar una ruleta. A ver, vamos a ver quiénes están presentes, porque tengo una ruleta aquí lista con sus nombres. Ok. Let's do this. Huh. Vamos a ver. <laughs> I don't know how to present it. Just like this one, maybe. Let's just, yeah. Is it okay? Yes, it is. I think so. It's going to work. Okay, here we've got all your names. Uh, there are people uh, that haven't shown up today. Let me just see. Bueno, si sale alguien que no está, lo vamos a ir quitando, okay? Vamos a ver, al que le caiga el turno, el ganador, the winner, will explain one of the elements according to the question, okay? So let's go and, ah, one second, one second, one second, one second. Ah, because you need to listen to it. It's really funny. One second. Okay, I will I will close this one. Okay, it was Boris, but now it's going to be another one. So here we go. Okay, Jose Miguel, the first question, you will explain the first question. I will stop sharing and I will share the screen again. All right. <laughs> yeah. That was mm, luck. <laughs> One yeah. moment. Yes. Okay, now I think it is good here. Aha, a ver. I, I can't see all the questions. Here or there. Ah. What does your product do? Mm -hmm. For well, example. Mm -hmm. can, you, uh, is, can I speak about the product that we presented two years, two, two years, two days ago? Sure, no problem. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, what does your product do? Well, our product um, was the Windows 7. And that's a operating system. It's, uh, well, is used for different works. It's the base of the computers. And we need that every day for our, well, for the most of the, uh, our work. Um, very good very good you have to explain all the features you have to explain what is it designed for what are the functions because you are describing the product okay you are describing the product at the same time that you are presenting what your um what's your goal to feed the need okay or what's the objective of creating that product to feed what needs of the market is this product um if a uh, fulfilling right fulfilling okay well mm -hmm. um our product window seven uh, uh was a a new release of the uh window series operating system uh, that was developed by Microsoft and was used, uh, well, is used for personal computers, uh, laptops, desktop, and for business, uh, for business too. And that 
this this new windows uh, have new features like the is com compatible with a touch screen you okay. can use the windows with with, with touch screen and you can uh, handwrite in, in in this new model the windows recognition that and have a the new voice. support the voice no handwriting oh okay you can uh, you can uh, uh, write in the screen uh, with a pen a special pen and the windows recon recognize that okay very good very good thank you very much those are features excellent it's a description how uh, these products work okay and works and now we go to the next okay number second number second number two mm -hmm. let's see <laughs> vamos a escoger a alguien mm -hmm. Is it there with Lisa here? Is oh, he? That was too close. <laughs> Eulise, no, not today, Eulise. Okay, he's not, so I will remove it. I'll remove him. All right, now. Okay, vamos a ver. Carlos Alberto, are you there? Not yet. Carlos Alberto. Okay, we'll remove him and let's go for the next one. Oh, he's just a listener. He's just a listener right now. Rafael, are you able to participate? I don't think so. Sorry, teacher, I can't. All right, no problem, no problem. But I'm not go. Well, I will remove your uh, name just for a while, okay? Now let's go for the next one. Mr. Nelson. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mr. Congratulations Nelson. for me. You won. Okay, now uh, the second question is what how will you advertise the product? We're talking about promotion, remember. So uh, explain to the class what this is about. Okay. About a specific product. Uh, yes, if you want to give yes. example, yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm. In general. <laughs> As in general. Mm -hmm. mm, for example, when I publish the features of my product on social media or social networks, sorry and the ways to get a discount for example and post in the in the in the uh, centros comerciales no me acuerdo cómo es que se dice mall como mall or shopping center mall. Ah, okay mm -hmm. mall M A L L mall. Ah, mall. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example. <laughs> okay. I don't for know. Example, is in this the mall. correct or no? Yes, it is. Of course, it is. You you are um... the power of the social networks. 
Okay, good. Yes, but also we are referring to the messages that you are uh, continuously uh, sending to your market or to your, to your target market for day two. Be aware of the existence of your product, okay? The existence, what are the features? What does your product do? Or what is uh, the way to acquire? What are the places where you can find this product? So this information is important for selling the product, okay? The prices, the discounts, the promotions, the offerings, whatever you are going to do, any giveaway or any activity you are doing in your pricing strategy and you are communicating, remember, communicating. That's how will you advertise the product, okay? Okay, okay, thank you, Good. I got it. All right, all right. So you explained about the social networks. It's a very good media in these days. I think it works better than in the massive me media, okay? So I think it's going to work um, according to the target market. Remember that we don't just sell a um, person to person or uh, we don't sell to the final customer. Always maybe you, you sell for wholesaler, wholesalers or maybe you are just a distributor or you um, a sell in bulk, right? Or you produce, you are the producer and some other people, this is the distributor. So it depends on who is your market, right? Who you are selling to, the way that you are going to send the messages or send the information about your product to be sold, okay? Now, okay. let's, thank you, Nelson. So now we are going to continue and let's find another participant. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I hope everybody's ready now. And here we go. Like a gecko. All right, here we go. Woo, Miss Karen, are you available, Miss Karen? Miss Karen, I saw you over there, Miss Karen, Karen. Oh, no, I, I read Kevin, I'm sorry. Miss Karen, not joined. Okay, well, we'll remove her from the pinwheel. Woo! Kevin, I mentioned. <laughs> okay, Kevin, so let's talk about the next question. Okay, the next question says, Okay, the next question says, where will you sell your product? Where? Where? Uh, in, in general, I can sell a product in a supermarket and in some products I can sell in a place and that is in physics and it can be marketplace on Facebook or it can be eBay and to is to is to place. All right, very good. You are going to put your product where your market is. I mean, your people or the customers um, are near. So you want the purpose, the purpose of getting or creating a place a strategy is to 
make available my product to my target market. So I'm not going to offer maybe laptops in, let's say, uh, I mean, I, how can I say this place? Um, in a river, for example, okay? In a river, in un rio, I'm not going. I'm not going to offer a laptop as a product. This is a kind of exaggerated, but it's just as a manner of example. Okay, uh, in a river, because you maybe you are not going to sell the product right there because your target market is not there. Okay, maybe your market is online. Okay, your people, your customers are online, and maybe. Uh, that's the best place to offer your product. Uh, for example, choripanes. Where are you going to sell choripanes? Are you going to sell choripanes in a place where nobody goes by? Mm, no, I don't uh, think so, right? We, mm -hmm. can, we can sell choripanes uh, near a, a company or near a school or near a university. Exactly, when where people, people is, is, is coming and go. Exactly, where the people are walking, coming and going, okay? So they pass right in front of your business, okay? So this is the best place to offer my choripanes. Now, am I, uh, if I'm going to sell pupusas in the morning, Am I going to sell pupusas, uh, let's say, um, in the residential or in a street, on a street, for example? I think it's better that you put it on the street, right? Uh, because it's just for some hours. That's why the government allows these kind of <laughs> informal businesses. But this is our culture, okay? This is our culture and we are talking about culture. But where are you going to sell mangoes, okay? Mango partido, mango twist. Where are you going to sell mango twist? What's the best place? At the uh -huh. street, at the street. Exactly, on a street. On Why? Street. Because people is around. I mean, people are around. On the Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So we make available the product or we um, approach, right? We approach to people. That's the strategy we want to uh, be aware. And when we create a place strategy, we need to see also the kind of building I'm going to rent if I'm going to rent one or buy if I'm going to buy the place, right? To own the place. Um, maybe I'm going to think if I need a modern, a uh, redesigned in the building. So those are um, the place strategies to attract people to my business uh, to acquire the product that I offer, okay? So the and that's why this is a mix. That's why this is a mix. Okay, now the last question, the last question. Let's go to the last question. Hey, hey! Ooh. <laughs> I like that. That's uh, that's really funny. Uh -huh. Boris, is Boris joined tonight? Is he? He isn't. Oh my goodness! All right, Boris. Boris, no Boris tonight. That is a listener. Not all right. We're going to remove him. Boris from... tonight. 
Okay, well, so sorry. <laughs> Mr. Wilber, aha, uh -huh. Mr. Wilber, Alberto Perez Mendez. Are you able to participate, Mr. Wilber? Yes, I guess. Okay, great. So we're going to see the four, the four, um, okay, the fourth. Hmm? The question is, how much does your product cost? How much does your product cost? Well, like the product is a lunch, uh, the product is uh, lower than the computators. Um, uh, I don't know, after my coworker, uh, explain uh, the feature the, about the, pro, the product. Uh, I, if any, any that person is interested in the product, <laughs> okay. I have to give her the price. So, uh, okay. Um, I don't know, but uh, after that, I, uh, I have to give him the, the price. Uh, Okay, but, like after a presentation, okay, uh, after or the, the introduction. Yes, after the introduction, I have, and if he, and if that person is interested in the pro, uh, mm, I I have to keep keep him uh, another introduction about the product or uh, the price because I have to uh, convince him. Convince. I have convince. to convince. Mm -hmm. Uh, telling her uh, that our product is new and it's in a lounge, uh, he has to approach uh, approach the 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 price and and to take advantage to take advantage. Okay, and if he wants to to take the product, uh, he can get the product uh, in a lower price. Okay, so you you are uh, you are. Um, implementing the strategy of lower prices in the introduction to the market. All right, that's a very good strategy too. Sometimes we make a mistake at the time of introducing a product with a low price, but we need to understand that is not always a mistake um, because if you don't plan your sales, then maybe it's going to be a failure. But if you are planning that this is going to give you a margin of profits, then go for it. Okay, then go for it. Allow, uh, offer the product with low prices and the introduction, right? Very good. Thank you very much. Teacher, I, I, I have a short uh, sentences uh, uh -huh. okay. for each question. May I? All right. Maybe if it's correct, you can tell me. Okay. Yes, go ahead. What does your product do? Uh, the product is fruitsy. We we have fruitsy, huh? but uh, and it's a beverage for children. Important is for children to irritate. Uh, how will you advertise the product? The advertising strategy of fruitsy is through educational educational programs. Uh, in TV and banner ads too. Uh, where will you sell your product? Uh, Fruitsy will sell in the supermarkets and the small groceries. How much do your does your product cost? We initially thought to start with a low promotional uh, price, and if sales uh, increase prices will rise okay good with the strategy if we begin with the small low prices but if you say i thought if sales increase price will rise, rise. 
Okay. It's correct. Uh, rice, you need yes. to sell more product. You uh, need to produce more. Yeah, yes. Exactly. But look, uh, the first pronunciation, hydrate. Okay, hydrate. Hydrate. Uh, hydrate. Yeah, it's yeah. hydrate. Okay. Hydrate. All right. Hydrate. Yeah, I think hydrate. your hydrate. I think your explanations are okay, and you focus correctly the answers. Just you have to be careful with the grammar. For example, if they are asking you something about an action in the future, then you are going to place in time your answer. Okay, you have to place in time your answer using the correct uh, the correct uh, structure for each uh, tense of the verb. For example, if you say, how will you advertise your product? Okay, then you will say, uh, Fruitsy will be advertised, okay? Fruitsy will be advertised. Ah, right? will be. Will yeah, because be. we are talking in the future, but yeah. we need to explain, I mean, your subject is Fruitsy and Fruitsy yeah. is not a person, right? Yeah. So yeah. someone else has to sell the product. So yeah. it, the action cannot be made for the product, okay? Right. By, but by a person. But uh, in general, you did a very good explanation. In general, you did a very good explanation, right? right. Good. Yes. Correctly. You understood all the uh, strategies we need to create at the time that we mix all the marketing strategies because we need to put this um, in words by written, okay, on paper. We need to uh, create the marketing plan based on price, product, place, promotion, strategies on paper, okay? That's our plan, that's our plan. We need to list all the things we need to do, the elements that we are going to use, the tools we are going to use, okay? The time we are going to do the things, uh, the actions, who are going to be that responsible for the, any action that we are going to take, any decision, who is in charge of uh, making the decisions, etc. We need to place uh, all the strategies by separate, and also uh, on paper. Remember that, that's the marketing plan. So now if we talk about the pricing, why is pricing important? Teacher, Tell uh, me, Elias. The class attendant? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Elias. Okay, people, please turn your camera on. And when I call your name, when I call your name, please say present, okay? I will do it quickly because we want to go to the conversations. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. I am here teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present, teacher. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Josman Adilio Serrano. Present teacher. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. No está, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. 
Here. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Present. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Okay, people. A saber qué les pasó a sus compañeros. Yo quiero animarlos, jóvenes. Eh, nos falta eh, la mitad de este curso, ¿verdad? Acordémonos que en este curso son cinco semanas. Entonces, eh, pues es cierto que vale tal vez un poquito menos cada día, pero eso no quiere decir que vamos a faltar, ¿verdad? Los quiero animar y decirles, no renuncien a este beneficio, no renuncien a esta oportunidad que tienen. Eh, no todos pueden obtenerla, ¿verdad? Ustedes tienen esa ventaja. Eh, no todos pueden acceder, pero en este momento ustedes ya lo tienen en la mano, ¿verdad? No lo pierdan. Eh, por un día que falten, se les baja el, el attendance score y luego pues al final les va haciendo falta, ya no los convocan y se va perdiendo, ¿verdad? La oportunidad. Entonces, no, mantengámonos, mantengámonos y cualquier eh, apoyo que ustedes necesiten, por favor, háganme saber, ¿verdad? Háganme saber que para eso estoy... Sí, Acá, dígame. Uh, in my case, uh, I have have I have have a lot of work, so it has been so difficult for me to be in class. And tomorrow we have uh, another job in San Miguel, so I don't know if I will be in class. Uh, uh, I say uh, my to my daughter that that she put the the laptop and and seeing the Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what we need is that you don't lose the opportunity to, um, uh, the opportunity to complete, to complete all these diplomado, we could say, right? To get the, the, this, these diplomas. And, but, The most important thing here is that you to learn, okay? El objetivo básico acá es que ustedes aprendan y que puedan defenderse, ¿verdad? A la hora que alguien les pregunta algo en inglés, pues no te quedes. Sí, yo estudié inglés, pero, pero no, no sé cómo responder, ¿verdad? O le entiendo, le entiendo, pero entonces no, esto va de la mano. El, vaya, pero eso de, de que usted esté conectado como oyente está bien. Eso no es incorrecto. Eso está bien en la oportunidad que da el programa. Ahora, sí les pido que se pongan al día, ¿verdad? Que se pongan al día y que no pierdan detalle, aunque vayan por pedazos poniéndose al día, pero que participen también dentro de la plataforma haciendo todas las actividades en tiempo real y en tiempo correcto. Porque decimos nosotros, trabajen adelantado para que no les vaya eh, co coartando o les vaya quitando el tiempo al último día, ¿verdad? De que hay que presentarlo. Acordémonos que empezamos lunes, terminamos viernes, el viernes tiene que estar terminada la unidad o la cantidad de tareas correspondientes a esa semana. En este caso, acuérdense que la unidad 2 se divide en dos semanas. Entonces, ahí es donde eh, necesitamos eh, que usted vaya trabajando al ritmo de la plataforma o más rápido, ¿verdad? Aquí no se le detiene. Y si, y si necesita algún apoyo, con todo gusto. Con todo gusto se le des apoyo. Porque ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Que aprendamos a hablar. Porque nos inscribimos a un curso de inglés para aprender a hablar, ¿verdad? Para aprender a hablar inglés. Entonces, eh, yo les agradezco a los que ahorita están conectados. Son muy responsables. Y pues eh, sigamos así con responsabilidad y en cuanto ustedes puedan, pueden, puedan animar a sus compañeros, les pido ese favor, ¿verdad? De decirles, hey jóvenes, vamos, agarrémonos de las manos todos juntos, ¿verdad? Y cantemos todos juntos en inglés. Y así pues nos quedamos eh, juntos en el mismo grupo, ¿verdad? No tenemos que estar esperando o alargando los tiempos porque en eh, la próxima convocatoria no se llenan los cupos, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, necesitamos permanecer juntos. Así que hagamos ahí el esfuerzo de seguir echándole ganas. Yo los animo, ¿ok? 
hasta este momento yo no he tenido, gracias al Señor, ningún problema eh, con ninguno de mis estudiantes que se haya quedado por alguna situación académica, gracias a Dios, y por el esfuerzo que ustedes ponen, ¿verdad? El empeño que ponemos es darles el apoyo, ¿verdad? El apoyo total. Ustedes saben que ustedes me preguntan y con gusto, aunque sea a las seis de la mañana del día siguiente, pues ya se les está, les estoy contestando, ¿verdad? O si no, a la una de la mañana reciben videos, no, son bromas, ¿verdad? Pero eh, sí es, eh, es un compromiso que yo adquiero con ustedes, ¿verdad? Para apoyarlos en este objetivo que queremos alcanzar. ¿Ok? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta o alguna situación que quiera comentar? No, teacher, continue no. the class. All right, there we go. So let's continue, people. We were talking about the pricing strategy. Why is pricing important? Pricing is the action of uh, calculating the price. That's the action of um, applying formulas or uh, defining what's the amount of money that this product is going to cost to uh, for customers okay so we need to see we need to see uh, that in the market there are different ways to price the products okay and it's it's not easy the way of uh, keep alive the company with prices that are not competitive because we have competitors everywhere and anywhere. Uh, they offer similar products with different prices. So we need to differentiate our product to, uh, to create a very good strategy of pricing, okay? Here is where the discounts, promotions, offerings, giveaways, uh, gift, uh, promotional items come to the picture, okay? So let's read why is pricing important? Why is pricing important? What do you think, guys? Why is pricing important? Why? I think because it defines uh, the value uh, of a product uh, for the market or for the customers. Okay. They want value. to use. They mm -hmm. want use. They, they, they want to use. Exactly. Because of their preferences, right? Right. Yeah, okay. right. It's a value. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh -huh. Is there any other opinion about why is pricing important? To be competitive. Very good. To, to be competitive. Competitive. Mm -hmm. Good. The price defines where will be our, our market. Uh, where we can sell our product, uh, the, uh, the price defy these this things. Okay. Things. Yes, because the product can be the same one, right? But offered in a different place, maybe it gets mm, a higher price, okay? Or it gets a lower price depending on the place where it is offered. And the people who goes to those places, I mean, they purchase power, right? The purchasing power. So now let's read over here. It says, in markets with increasing volume and price pressure, the right pricing approach is essential to remain competitive. It brings you to the value you deserve for your products and services offered and secures the profits you need to invest in change and growth, okay? To invest in change and growth. So it means that we need to 
make profits. Yeah, we need to make profits. So the incomes um, are defined for the sales, right? For the sales. So let's look at this paragraph again. And it says in markets with increasing volume. Okay, a lot of products, right? A lot of products, big amount of similar products, okay? Similar products and price pressure. Why price pressure? Because maybe the costs of production uh, for a company that it is not Salvadoran, maybe they are lower, but for a Salvadoran company, maybe the costs are higher. We don't know if it is in the, in the contrary, but, but this is only one, um, let's say one aspect of the pricing, okay? It's only one aspect, the cost of production, because not always it's just defined by the cost of, by the cost of production. It has to be included, but it's not defined for that, but for the value, okay? The value. Look, it says it brings you the value you deserve for your products and services. It brings you the value you deserve for your products and services. Here, look, this word is really strong because it says you deserve, deserve. So mm, it's not just worthy, but deserve. Okay, so let's look at that. So now let's read the next paragraph. Who wants to read the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead, Kevin. It is still important to run cost cutting initiatives, initiatives yes. mm -hmm. on a regular basis and basis. to in basis and to increase the efficiency the efficiency of your sales organization. All right, let's uh, put this in a, a, let's say finer pronunciation. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Efficiency. Yes. Efficiency. Cost cutting, cost cutting, cost cutting, cost cutting. Here is not necessary to pronounce the letter T, just cascading, cascading. It's like silent, right? Because we are linking the sounds with another a consonant, right? So cascading, cascading. Then initiatives, initiatives, initiatives. And then here, regular basis, regular basis, Regu regular basis basis okay i think uh ah, increase cree crease con una e increase okay now let's think about what this paragraph is saying uh-huh que dice este párrafo what does this paragraph say Approach, yeah, approach is acercarse, yes. This one, uh -huh. approach. I think mm -hmm. it's very important to have uh, a, 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 this uh, a cost cutting, cost cutting, a variant uh, because uh, the companies uh, when you produce you need uh, to know uh, uh, if you can have a profit or not then All right. you, you must change uh, 
uh, what is the name materia prima uh the raw the, raw materials the raw material it is very important or uh, uh, to uh, to make a a, a change uh, to with the cost cutting or to be profitable exactly exactly because we need to reduce yes. the cost reduce, reduce right? the cost right we need to reduce the cost we need to cut the or waste to see where are the problem exactly the, the waste solution, the solution of a problem uh, to have a lower cost exactly for the product Exactly, but we don't have, I mean, we have not to compromise the quality, right? The quality. Right. Right. Yes, because it says that we need to maintain the value of yeah. our product, okay? We are not going, even if we reduce the costs of production of any item we are producing, okay, maybe that could reduce also the value of my product because it just yeah but but maybe maybe not features. but maybe not maybe it's a corruption in the uh, in the, the system the, the people they buy and he uh, 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 buy uh, expensive uh, grow material okay yeah okay. it's happened <laughs> okay right it can uh, happen Yes, so you have to create a system that can right. be uh, corrected in each stage, in each stage. It's not just to produce the, the item, but you have to uh, test, you have to revise, yes. you have to go back. You, okay. you, you, can, you can have a problem with a machine on the maintained service is not correct exactly or you, or you must change it you can right. change the outsourcing exactly or the people did that work exactly but hey, remember these right. are strategies about right. money but right. the amount of money that i'm going to ask the customer to give me in exchange for my product Remember right. that, have that in mind. It's not that the value that you are adding at the time that you are producing it, mm -hmm. okay? At the time that you have it produced, okay? So this is the difference here, but that's what it, why this is saying. It's still important to run cost cutting. Why is still important? Uh, because it's essential to remain competitive. It's essential to remain competitive. It is important to run cost cutting, but it's essential to remain competitive, okay? With good quality, with good functionalities or uh, the best product I can offer, right? It depends on the market. It depends on the product. It depends on the place, as Kevin was saying too, right, etc. So remember that this will increase the efficiency of the sales organization when you don't waste the money or the resources. So wasting is not in the map here. Wasting resources is not in the map. We need to eliminate the waste, okay? Necesitamos eliminar el desperdicio, right? So we need to uh, increase the efficiency. Uh, at the same time, we are running the cost cutting initiatives, but to remain competitive, to offer a good price for a product of good quality. So let's read the next one. It says invest, uh, Wilbur, can you read the last one? Me, teacher. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry, Wilbur. Just give me one okay. second. All right. Go ahead. A ver. Pongámonos de acuerdo. Sí. Eh, okay, Wilbur again. Go ahead. Invest at least the same amount of energy, time, and money in improving the biggest profit driver price. Right. You see, it says at least the same amount of energy, 
time, time. And, money. and money. Yeah, but what do we have to improve? The price. Because of the price, uh, we are going to see the incomes, the money coming in, okay? So it is important not to waste, okay? On cost cutting. But we have to run a very good pricing strategy uh, for with the financial areas, okay? Uh, for example, with our budget, taking care of our budget, but I'm sorry, budget, maybe taking care of also about the uh, accounting, all the balances, the, the accounts have to be balanced, right? And in this case, the same amount of energy, time, money, uh -huh. but to improve what? The biggest profit driver, what will be? The price, okay? The price is the one that brings the money to the company. The price is the money that you collect from people. So if, um, and some uh, strategies, that are common in the market, we could mention these ones, okay? Cost plus pricing, competitive pricing, price skimming, penetration pricing, value-based pricing, okay? This is very, um, let's say in Spanish, we say trabado, right? But let's see this with kind of examples, okay? Cost plus pricing, all right? I will say, for example, how much do I invest in my raw materials? Uh, how much do I invest in a transportation? How much do I uh, invest in the workforce to produce it, okay? How much do I invest in the display in the store, okay? Let's say all the... Um, a fixed costs that I have. And then I make the sum, right? I make the addition. And after that, I put a margin of profits. That's cost plus pricing. For example, pupusas, let's say. Pupusas is the product. And um, La Doña Mercedita is going to say, okay, how much did I invest? Yeah, so she's going to say, ah, yo pongo 30 dólares, digamos, ¿verdad? But how much do you think is worthy to err in a margin? Okay, then you say, yo gasto 30 dólares, yo tengo que ganar el 100%, they say, right? They say, I have to uh, double the, uh, the, the incomes back, okay? So they say, well, I'm going to sell this if, I invest $30, I have to receive $30 more plus the capital, right? So that's cost pricing, cost plus, cost, uh, plus pricing, okay? You calculate your costs and add a markup. The markup is the margin of profits. Markup, the margin of profits. Entonces, usted viene y pone la suma de todo lo que gastó, para producir eso y le pone un margen, vaya, digamos que me sale a 20 centavos, pero le voy a poner los 5 centavos por los imprevistos y por todas las otras cosas, vaya, entonces yo voy a ganar 5 centavos más, la voy a dar a 30 centavos, ¿ok? Es un cálculo de acuerdo a lo que yo gasté, lo que se le pone de margen de ganancia justo y luego el precio correcto. Now, competitive pricing. Set a price based on what the competition charges. For example, that store is selling a paleta, right? Let's say a uh, marañón paleta, okay? And you will, a popsicle, right? Then you will say they are selling that at maybe 50 cents each paleta. So I am going to compete because I produce paletas too, marañón paletas too. So I'm going to offer this to, mm, let's say 47 cents, okay? Just to compete, 
Okay, and bring the customers um, to my place. Okay, so that's like a competitive pricing. And tomorrow, maybe they say, well, we're going to sell this at 40 cents. So they will say, you have to compete. This is kind of dangerous for your company, okay? But you need to manage these strategies. Then price skimming. You said a high price and a lower, okay? But this is as the marketing evolved, okay? You are saying, okay, uh, as you said, in the marketing introduction, I'm going to set a price. But then uh, according the time, I mean, the lapse time, the lapse of time that this product is growing, then I have to increase the price. Okay, I need to increase it. And then when I go to the decline with the product life cycle, right? Then I go to the decline, I have to low back. Okay, then you are scheming according, according how the market evolves. Not only the market, my company, okay? Penetration pricing. Well, you set a low price to enter a competitive market and raise it later, as you were saying before, okay? Uh, this is really interesting because with the market introduction, as I was saying, you need to create the strategy carefully because if you make a mistake right there, then it's going to fail, then you are going to have uh, a, you have to, discontinue or maybe you will have to stop the production you are going to go out of the market okay you will take up then uh the value-based pricing oh this is very important for the luxurious right for example uh, a mercedes doesn't cost um as a high end day right so we're going to set the value according the market is adding the value to each product. For example, yo puedo decir, un Mercedes no vale igual que un Hyundai, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí es donde value-based pricing. For example, I'm not going to buy a Michael Kors bag in the same price that I buy a, a Chinese one, right? So. This is the value and, and all of them value is added, but the value-based pricing, I think is for these products that are luxurious more than uh, necessary. Okay, so this is why the way I can explain these five uh, common pricing strategies. Now it's your turn, you tell me, Anything you understood about the cost plus, competitive price, pricing, the price scheming, penetration pricing, value-based pricing. What do you think about the pricing strategies? A ver, uh, ¿qué? Uh -huh. Tell uh, me, Carlos Ernesto. Price, eh, eh, regido, how do you say regido? Uh, ruled, R-U-L-E-D, ruled. Uh -huh. Ruled. Yeah, the price is road um, the offer of demand low. For example, the pupusas is the product is a lot of a lot of pupusas and the the price is increasing. Uh, no, the, the price is increasing. Uh, or for example, for example, uh, the grains ba basic grains. Uh, when the basic grains is 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 lack, uh, the price is high. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, escasez, right, and abundance. Yes. Uh, let's say lack and abundance. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Correct, Carlos Ernesto, and it's defined by that. Uh, and not only not only the money or the amount of money, but the stock or the volume of, pro of products that you produce. Yeah, that's really important. Thank you very much, Carlos Ernesto. Thank you. Okay, now let's 
go and think about these a conversation, guys. We have this conversation in our manuals. They are talking about some uh, headphones, okay, headphones. Headphones are like these ones. They may have the microphone, okay, or they may not, okay. So Antonio and Rene are talking and they are talking about these products. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of, her, of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months. And an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Okay, now I will give you 30 seconds and read the conversation. Please turn your camera on, and I need to see your lips moving. Teacher, how do you pronounce renewing? Renewing. 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 Thank you. Yes. Is there any question so far? Packaging is correct. Uh, yes. Okay. The Packaging. Packaging. Mm -hmm. Packaging. Yes. I know the word knock just when somebody said to other, hey, hey enough, come now. Uh, but, okay. it, but in this uh, in this occasion, I don't know what the meaning. Okay, enough is the word that defines the right amount of something. It could be a tangible thing or an intangible thing, like an action, feelings, objects, anything that you have the right amount of it then you use enough, okay? You don't need less, you don't need more, okay? So it's enough, enough the amount that I need, right? Mm -hmm. That's enough. Uh -huh. Enough also is basta, yeah? But we are not talking about that. Exactly, that's the meaning, that's a translation. I didn't want to say it, say it in the Spanish. Because the idea is to explain it in English, guys. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Lori. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. The right amount that we need of something. Okay, that's enough with a letter S, right? Enough. No inu, no ina, no ino, but enough. Okay, enough. 
Yeah. Don't blow it like, no, enough. Yeah, enough. All right, let's read the conversation again, okay? I will read it slower, okay? The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Okay, we want to listen to Carlos Ernesto and Hosman, okay? Carlos Ernesto Antonio and Hosman Rene, please role play the conversation. Okay. Um, the competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning, positioning in the market. What do we do? We call you the look of our headphone. Let's make things color, colorful now so that people can become it the enhance. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renew, renewing, renewing the look and the packaging will take months. And an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to the gains or pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help use counter our competitor relates of their products. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's say this word again. Everybody say enough. 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 Now. Yes, enough. Oh. Enough. Mm -hmm. Aquí no es enough. Aquí es enough. Con F. Enough. A ver todos. Enough. 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 No es enough. enough. Es enough. Con F. 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 Enough. Enough. Ajá. Como enough. que. A ver, la voy a escribir. I will try to write the uh, way to say like if you said e enough okay enough like this enough, enough. Mm -hmm. that's the correct pronunciation of this word enough enough are we okay so far i think we're going to practice this conversation and also you will answer, I'm sorry, you will answer the next activity in, no sé si pueden ver acá. Pueden ver el manual? Yeah, yeah, teacher. All right. Teacher. Yeah. Vamos a ver por acá. Okay. Here we've got to complete the sentences below. Okay, this is the activity number three per work. So you complete according what you're reading in the conversation, then you complete this. So let's go to the breakout rooms and let's take this as a manera break, okay? This will be like a fun thing, right? And let's do it in five minutes.
please join your rooms. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, there you are, guys. Okay, you can practice now. Um, let me check out. Our three exercises, really? Mm hmm. The first one is in the star. Miss Familia. I sent it through the WhatsApp chat. Hmm. Okay. Tell me when you have the previous. No puedo. Ahorita que ahí está. Es que cuando alguien entra, se pone Zoom otra vez como gobernar la pantalla y ya no me deja. Okay. Volver a. Ajá. I look for the fish. Looking. Ahí lo compartió la teacher ahorita en, en el chat. Oh, ok. Es de no pitch. Cargado todavía. Ah, creo que tengo. 1919. Ok. okay. Okay, vamos a ver. Creo que está un poco lentón. Está. Okay. Can you see my screen? Hello? Hello, teacher. We finished the, the exercise. Okay, you may go, uh, you may practice again the conversation. Okay, because your classmates are having some trouble of connection and you know, as always happens. So please continue. I will call okay, you later. Teacher. All right. Wilber, I'm, I'm going to share my screen to practice the, the conversation. Can you see the conversation, Wilber? Okay. Okay. Second. Yes. 
colorful enough. It made them. Is the people. second paragraph. paragraph. It's colorful enough. Uh huh. The last one. What thing? The person. La el logotipo, si... teacher, the the number here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. I, I'm I, I'm we're talking about the the homework. <laughs> okay. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. And mm -hmm. bueno, continuamos. The <laughs> number four here, the 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 row, la flecha, tiene un número. I'm a number that indicate the the brand, the logotipo, la marca. So you 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 have to choose a uh, what of the piece is in the number four in the same Im image. Uh, at the end is the number three and the same. What is what p is related to this part? Este caso es la sucursal is the, mm -hmm. the 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 well I I choose the place. Entonces you have to do these two exercises um, according to the the four P. Mm. And then in this second part. Uh, they put a, a sentence and you have to f to complete a s multiple selection and it's it's, it's um, not the same but it's like the exercise uh, we do in our, uh, mm -hmm. uh, here in the class for mm -hmm. example this sentence Okay, people. So let's complete these uh, sentences. This is the comprehension activity. They are mm -hmm, to make us lose brown in the market. Attractive enough. Attractive enough. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you check lose ground, perder terreno, okay? And here, lose positioning. Perder nuestro puesto, ¿verdad? El lugar que tenemos. Lose positioning, lose ground, similar. Okay, synonyms. So they are attractive enough. Mm -hmm. Now, number two. Comprehension. 
colorful it, enough. This might seem colorful enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So people, yeah. Teachers, the attendance, sorry. Thank you. Yes, we are almost at the end right now. Okay, just give me one second. I will finish this one and then I call the row. So look, attractive and colorful. Okay, and here, number three. It's fast enough uh, to help us counter our competitors' relays of the, the products. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. It's fast enough, fast enough. So fast enough. Check these out. What words are before enough? What words are before enough? What's the function in the sentence? They are adjectives, okay? They are adjectives and they are describing a characteristic. They are describing a feature, okay? In this case, it's a characteristic of the product. So in the, uh, for example, in the design, they are thinking about attractiveness. They are thinking about the color, a color of the product. Then they are thinking about the speed, right? The speed when they are going to do something. So let's look at the adjectives, attractive, colorful, and fast. When we want to say that some that something uh, has enough of that characteristic, then we write first the adjective and after the adjective goes enough, not changing, okay? When we use it with an adjective, we say it after the adjective. This is the order. Enough as an adverb means to the necessary degree. Enough follows the adjective it modifies. It can be used both in positive and negative sentences. For example, it says, the look of your online course front page is not professional enough. Ah, veamos entonces que cuando ponemos un adjetivo y vamos a decir que esa característica es suficientemente bien aplicada o tiene bastante o lo suficiente de eso o que no lo tiene, Okay, then we are going to use this order of words. We are going to say, not professional enough. Pero si es professional enough, sin el not. Okay, it's professional enough. Now, is user-friendly enough? Imagine the negative thing isn't user-friendly enough. Now, let's see. Um, this product design is not competitive enough for a high-end market. Our after-sales service are good enough to improve the positioning of our product. So look good enough. Good is the adjective, enough is the adverb, okay? So we're gonna say first the adjective and then enough. First the adjective and then enough. First the adjective and then enough. So we'll be with the particle not when we are saying that it's not enough, okay? It's not enough. So we're gonna say not competitive, not something, something enough, not, Mm, playful enough, not interesting enough, not beautiful enough, not attractive enough, okay? That's when we are saying no or negative thing, okay? So tomorrow we will uh, complete this exercise about these uh, terms. This is terminology uh, related with the pricing strategies, okay? The pricing strategies. And we are going to continue with some other exercises asking questions, okay? You are going to ask the question and then you are going to give an answer. But at this moment, at this moment, um, if you have any question, please let me know. Is there any question so far? Uh, we can use uh, always we can use adjective plus enough or exist some uh, exception. Exceptions. Actually, exceptions. with the adjectives, I don't think there is an exception. At least mm, I don't have it in my mind right now. What I can tell you is that first goes the adjective and then you give the amount of this adjective. So. 
it's okay. For example, if you need something more, then you're going to say uh, they need more attractive nest. Okay, just a noun. It becomes a noun, not an adjective. So you need to use enough, the right amount in this way, right? With adjective plus enough. All right. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, someone else. All right. Um, tomorrow we'll be explaining that too. And also we are doing some exercises tomorrow. So please, everybody turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you will say something that this class is for you, okay? Enough, the amount enough, okay? You will say a characteristics of this English class, enough, okay? Van a decir un adjetivo con enough acerca de esta clase de inglés. Ok, so Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Es expensive enough. Again. Expensive enough. All right. Oh, no. eh, Boris Alexander Cortés Cáceres. Ah, no está. Ok. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Mr. Carlos Alberto, I hear you over there. Thank God the power came back. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. So, so enough. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, no, so sorry. Like, <laughs> this is interesting. Or is something, something enough? But I don't think it is a combination of words. All right, let's say, um, what can we, uh, I mean, say instead of so, so. Uh, more or less enough. No, it doesn't <laughs> much either. Uh, what he said? So, 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 so. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. All right. Uh, no se la valemos, no se la valemos. <laughs> okay. Um, um, cheap enough? Cheap enough. <laughs> okay, good. Uh -huh. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. It's nice enough so far. Oh, great. Good. I felt so happy for that. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. It's interesting enough. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my team. Eulise Torres Torres. Oh, it's not Elisa today, tonight. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Miss Fatima. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Mm. It's stressful enough. It's stressful I'm, enough. All right. I'm, I'm referring on my work. Oh, okay, okay. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Powerful enough. Very good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Competitive price person. Again, again. Competitive pricing. Competitive pricing. Okay, but we are using enough, Hosman. Yeah, yeah competitive ver. pricing enough. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Santiago. Yeah. 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 You, you told we, we need to uh, make yes. a uh, like this. Yes, a good, good. You told us. Exactly. Nice. Karen Lizette Sanchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Mendez. Menendez. Sorry. Tired enough to go to. The... Again, Tired again. Enough. Tired enough. All right. Tired enough. 
to go uh, to sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, because of the of the time, right? The hours we take two hours and it's late. All right, good. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Se quedó congelado con la sonrisa y ya lo vimos. Tan bonito que se ve sonriendo. <laughs> Let it go. I can't. <laughs> I will sing like this. Nelson, Alberto, are you there? No, I think his, he got frozen too. Oh, he got disconnected, I think. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz? I'm here. Oh, okay, Nelson, please. Sorry, my internet is bad. Oh, okay. Uh, entertaining enough? Oh, right, good. And your internet is bad enough. Right? Yeah. Okay, good. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. This is a listener. I know, but sometimes he answers. Santiago Roberto Calderona Velar. Cool enough. Very good. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Crazy enough. Crazy enough. Crazy, all right, good. Uh huh. It will be like graceful, graceful, right? Graceful, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. So, people, we finished for tonight, and the session one on one will be for what session is this one? Nine. Okay, it's for Fatima Noemi Umania Castro. Fatima, do you want to stay with me after? This class, 10 more minutes. She's gone. Okay, well. Jose Miguel Torres, do you want to stay? Yeah. All right. Then everybody have a very good night. Remember to do your homework, okay? If you have any question, any doubt, please let me know through the WhatsApp chat, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye. Bless you. Have a very good bye, night. Everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, I think they are us. Okay, just one, one second. They're asleep. Yes, some, some maybe. <laughs> maybe they are sleeping. Oh my God. Yes, we're human and maybe they are tired too. Okay, now, mm -hmm. hello, Jose Miguel. How are you doing tonight? Hello, uh, I'm tired, but good. <laughs> All right, good. And is there any question I can help you with? Well, actually, with the actual class, maybe not. But let me a second. I, I was trying to advance with the homework. Uh -huh. And I was in a, in a future homework. <laughs> okay, uh, the one the one that is two point fourteen, right? Two point fourteen. Mm, no. No. Wait a second. I I'm opening it. Uh, two. No, it will be two point. Two point two is done. Two point five is done. Two point eight. Let me see. No, it's done. Two point eleven. Two point eleven. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe because uh because uh we don't. No hemos tenido. Uh huh. We, we haven't have, had. We haven't we had. Haven't had. Mm -hmm. Ay, modulo pasado. We haven't had the class. I don't understand a, a lot of this. Ah, uh, okay, okay, but uh. Remember that this is related to the marketing plan of the company, yeah. right? So this is like common sense. It's not a theoretical thing. Yeah. But let's read the instructions. It says, are the following ideas good promotion strategies? Select good strategy or bad strategy? Uh, what do you think? Uh, branded promotional gifts. gifts. We mentioned yeah. something about this today. 
branded yeah. promotional gifts. Yeah. Maybe what do you in think? this part, uh, I think this is a good strategy. But okay. Maybe this part, the, the first uh, part. Five question is not the problem. Oh, okay. Because how, how do you say is 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 more logical, it's not so uh, uh, English grammatically or something like that. Mm -hmm. But in the next part, uh, when this when the homework says complete the sentence using the information in parentheses and enough, mm -hmm. uh, I I don't understand or I don't know how to uh, create that sentence. For ah, example, okay. the first one says the places treasury is the, in is the, the subject. Is, is okay. The, subject. Uh -huh. the place strategy is the subject. So you have to conjugate the verb, right? You have to conjugate the verb. The verb is demand, right? Demand, so, demand enough. Yes. The place strategy, exactly. Demands, remember? Demands mm -hmm. because it's eat. The place strategy is eat. So you have to demand. conjugate with the letter S. Demands. Okay, demand. Uh -huh. Enough. Enough. Uh, enough channels of distribution. And that's it. it. Oh, it's only that in this. Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let me let me see the thing. Demand. demand. Okay, a veces lo activa, sometimes it does. Okay, number two, look at the verb because the order with the adjective is different than the uh, order with the verb. In this case, the verb goes before, right? And, I'm sorry, goes um a... no here we're not talking about the verbs we're talking about the nouns nouns remember i said adjectives and nouns so offer a features and benefits are the nouns what do we need do we need enough features okay we need enough features and benefits but what's the verb the verb is offer and the offer. subject is our products, plural. So oh. we are not go going to conjugate. Our products offer. Offer. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Like is in the example. Exactly. Um, our products offer enough features and benefits. Exactly. No. But there is one problem with the. Mm. Okay, allow me to That's check. Weird. The... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is uh, because we haven't seen it in the class, okay? There we have the sentences right there in number five, uh, page 23. Page 23, activity number five in the manual. There you will you will find the sentences. It says complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. But in mm. this case, there is a mistake in the platform. Okay. There is a mistake in the platform. And instead of saying enough in the number two, it says great. Okay. So just write great, even though remember that enough is the correct thing. Okay. I don't know if okay. I. Uh huh. It's great, but it's a mistake. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I will show you here the sentences and the in the manual. Okay. In the manual, we have the activity number five on page twenty-three. Here it is. Look, complete the sentences. We have to add. The information in parentheses. So the marketing department has been, a ver, ¿qué tiempo verbal es? What uh, tense is it? Has sent, has not. And it, ha it says here, create, right? So mm -hmm. participle, right? Created. Mm -hmm. Enough. Interest. 
okay? okay? But here, if you see, it's a different thing because we are using enough before a noun, before a noun. The one we saw today was adjective plus enough, different order, okay? Different order. Enough plus noun. Enough. Enough. Exactly. Wow. Mm -hmm. Son dos orden, or, uh, ordenamiento diferente, ¿verdad? De palabras. Entonces, el orden con el adjetivo es primero el adjetivo y luego enough. Pero cuando es un nombre, así como estos que tenemos, information, products, item, experts, interest, benefits, eh, channels of distribution, todo eso son nouns, nouns. Entonces, primero va enough y después va el noun, ¿ok? So, number two says, our products, say, offer enough, enough features and benefits. This would be the correct answer in the platform, okay? But they related a, a different one, okay? They associated great instead of enough, all right? Okay, well, okay, I understand that, but okay. uh, I will prove that in the... In number the three. Or number three, okay. No, wait, wait my second. I was trying to uh, do the, the, the sentence like, in, like you explain it uh, right now, but uh, the platform always give me uh, that like uh, great features and benefits. Yes. Pero siempre me lo pone como malo. Or products offer great. Bueno, great or great? Plural. No, no, great. Great, great. no plural. Mm -hmm. Great features and benefits. Yes. Siempre me lo da con error. Let me show you. Do you want to share, do you want to share your screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or products offer let's try uh, let's try um a okay the period right the period uh-huh uh, yeah that's the all problem. right there we are now let's see enough interest okay not yet okay the marketing department the marketing department the market department has mm -hmm. the one we saw right here. Create enough interest. Okay, look, hasn't created. Remember the past participle. Um, true because it's not. Okay. okay, the marketing department hasn't. The apostrophe maybe is not the apostrophe. Uh, I copy, copy the word. Did you copy it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like this. Okay. Department hasn't created. Well, let me say, maybe without period. No. The All right. I'm trying to check what's going on. No space, no space, marketing. Look if there. you have any any space no. or any extra space. Nope. Justo eso estaba viendo. No. Okay. 
the marketing department. Department. Ah, uh, oh, okay. There it was. There you are. Now you got it. Wow. Okay. Well. Lack. Yes. Escasez. It's, uh -huh. uh, yeah. You need more. Yeah. Lack. It's muy poca. Or ausencia, right? In this, uh, yes. Yeah, in this sentence use the same word okay yeah uh, Maybe for we like okay. enough information there we go mm -hmm. very good Jose Miguel yes I liked it so now we are going to tell them uh to see this part for they to do it as you did it okay thanks teacher okay no problem here, this is what we are for, okay? And well, if you want to continue, go ahead, all right? You may continue with the others. Uh, remember that we are, uh, was it? No, that was 2.12, right? 2.12. Yeah. Uh, so 2.14 has to be done for, I uh, mean, tomorrow after class, okay? Tomorrow? So you, yes, tomorrow is Friday, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Yes, tomorrow. Why, why so fast? <laughs> ah, because we are finishing the week. Yeah, we are finishing the week. So 2.14. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I will try to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, we haven't seen the the extra, I mean the content, but if you want to work in advance, it's okay. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, All right, teacher. Jose Miguel. Have a very good night then. Good night, teacher. Thanks See for you tomorrow. Everything. No problem. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye.